to begin we're going to go to sell.amazon.com and once we're there we're going to click sign up to begin the process so once you get there you're going to click create your Amazon account Okay, name is Amazon Lit. You will put your business name here. Then you'll put that email address that is registered or used only for your Seller Central account here. And click next. They sent us an OTP right to our email to verify that the email is correct. So let me check that right now. We're going to go through this process piece by piece. We're creating a brand new Amazon account with you. So that way you understand the process fully and there's no questions what you have to do here. Select a country. So let me pause here for anyone that's outside of the US to give you some more insight into what which countries are eligible to sell on Amazon.com. So a quick search of countries accepted for seller registration on Amazon.com. A quick Google search will bring you to the Seller Central help page. Uh, it has a list of all the countries that are eligible uh, to sell on Amazon.com. You need to be a resident of these countries and provide documentation that you are. But the list is expansive and I strongly, I know that a majority of the people who are taking this course will have no issues with creating their Amazon.com seller account. Um, so like I said, all you have to do is just quickly Google search countries accepted for seller registration on Amazon.com and you'll get this list here. I mean, countries like Albania, Haiti, Greece, Netherlands, Poland, New Zealand, UK, Slovenia, Ivory Coast, Japan, all eligible and many more all eligible to sell on Amazon.com. And remember, even if you are not a resident of one of those countries that are eligible, if you're able to create a business in one of those countries, to open up a business in one of those countries that are eligible, then you will become eligible to sell on Amazon.com. So you have two ways of, of really skinning the cat and it depends which way you're handling it. Of course, the easier way is to be a resident of one of those eligible countries, but the other option is to create a business in one of those countries. So now we're at the point where we're going to choose our business location here, select the country, United States for us, and then we're selecting an entity type. We are a privately owned business. Business name, Amazon Lit LLC. Make sure that the business name that you are using to register with Amazon was used to register with your state or federal government, like the SS form, which you received from the IRS, uh, which had your EIN number on it. R right here, this SS form right here with our name Amazon Lit. Um, and of course, you could also do a DBA doing business as if that's something that you created at the time. Otherwise, to simplify the process and make sure there's no issues, I would really highly recommend to use the name of your business as it's found on the SS form or the IRS form that was given to you when you received your EIN number. Okay, we put that in exactly how it is on there. We agree and continue, and now we wait for Amazon to process that information. Now it's going to ask some information about our business, Amazon Lit. So it's going to ask here our company registration number. You should have received the business registration number from your state or if you're outside of this country, from your country in the state of New Jersey, that document looks like this and it's similar in other states, New Jersey Department of Treasury, Division of Revenue and Enterprise and right underneath our business name will be that registration number. So let me input that here. And now I'm going to put the state that we're in and now our registered address. Okay, 
name. Now I put my phone number here so they can send me a pin to verify who I am. Let's get that pin from Amazon. It should come instantaneously almost. Yep, I already got it. 651, verify. Okay, click next. And now we move forward. Country of citizenship, United States, country of birth, United States. I'm gonna put my driver's license number and my date of birth. Okay, my driver's license number, let's put that in. Date of expiration and my residential address as it is on my driver's license. Okay, who I am, I'm a beneficial owner of the business. So is everyone listed here that is a beneficial owner of the business? So I'm gonna click no, save as Amazon lists a partnership, so not everyone's in there. And now it's asking uh, which marketplaces do we specifically want to join? So right now we would be able to join the North America, which is Mexico, Canada, and the US, Japan, and all of Europe, uh, just through registering once. However, I'm only going to select North America now, and if you're brand new to selling on Amazon, I would highly recommend just starting with one account for now, uh, as each account is $39.99 uh, per month subscription. So let's start with North America, let's cover that basis, and then soon enough, you'll be selling globally. Okay, now it's going to need my credit card information. Okay, confirm. All the information's in there. Just need to change the billing address. And next, on to the next part, the store. Enter your store name. I don't think I'm gonna go with a name that has the word Amazon in it for my store name because it could be a conflict of interest and it could be a reason for Amazon to not accept the application. So, let me think of something here. I'm going to use RRI, the Resellers Resource Initiative. Do I have UPCs for the products? Yes, we do. And so will you, whether you are doing private label or wholesale, you will have UPCs on your products. Those are universal product codes. Let's see. Um, something that looks like this right here this barcode 12 digit barcode uh, is what you'll be looking at or it'd be 13 digits if it was a european barcode are you the manufacturer or brand owner for any of the products you want to sell so if you plan on selling some products of your own online and doing wholesale as well, uh, you would click yes. If you just plan on wholesaling name brand products, then you would say no. Do you own government registered trademark for the branded products you want to sell on Amazon? That's a whole nother section we go over with USPTO and how to register trademark your brand. If you already do have a brand that's registered trademark, uh, you would go ahead and click yes. Otherwise, you would click no. So here we're gonna go no for now, for us. Or if you have some that are, then you would click some of them, like we did with the last one where it asked whether we were selling our own branded products. So we said, yeah, for some of them we will. Uh, for a majority though, we will be wholesaling. So now here it asks for the identity verification. Just make sure that all the data and information is correct. Name, birth, country of birth, citizenship, driver's license. And right here we will upload our identity document, which is our driver's license front and back. And then down here we can choose whether to uh, put a credit card statement or a bank account statement and upload that information. So let me go grab that now and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's add the documents here, the front of the license and the back. Okay, driver's license front, 
driver's license back, and our most recent bank statement. Okay. And submit. All right, so submitted all the information they needed, and now it says please wait uh, for them to process the information. This may take up to 60 seconds. So let's see what happens. I'll be right back once they process it. Okay, there you have it. The request has been submitted, and now in about two business days, we should expect an email from Amazon either stating that our account has been accepted and now we can begin selling on Amazon. Amazon.com through Seller Central or that they need further information uh, to clarify or verify our identity. And that's it. That's all it is to setting up an account on Amazon.com for selling purposes. I hope uh, you know you guys followed the steps accordingly. I uh, went through the process with you. We should have this account up in a couple of days. I'll share it with you once it is. And of course, any questions you have pertaining to anything with registering to Amazon.com, make sure to reach out to Eric. Make sure to reach out to myself and we'll be quick to provide you guys with any additional resources we may have to help you through this process but it is pretty simple once you have a business registered and you have all the documentation prepared uh, before moving forward and registering your business with Amazon Seller Central stay lit right now what we're gonna do is take a quick look at an Amazon listing from a seller's perspective things you should always be looking at when you're analyzing a listing and taking a first glance at a listing